there are some things that you can do during this pandemic to ensure your own food supply. I want to help you with that by talking about what I've done. Good morning, friends. I got up early this morning when the sun was not up, it was still dark outside. And while I sat here waiting for the sun to come up, it dawned on me that maybe some of you are displeased like I am about seeing farmers having to destroy their crops, having to euthanize their flocks and their herds of animals because of the coronavirus. It may be that you're thinking like I am, but we probably ought to be thinking about how to supply ourselves with food. So I'm going to begin a little bit today to talk about how we can do that through raising our own chickens, very small number, even in urban settings, how we can raise vegetables. Uh, but mostly today I'm going to talk about how we do chickens. And I'm going to begin by showing you this chicken tractor that I have built and hope that you will consider either making one yourself, having someone make it for you, or uh, purchasing one. I actually think the zombie apocalypse movies are usually very pessimistic about humans when things get bad. I don't expect Mad Max to show up or anyone to show up trying to take away my things that I'm going to have to defend <coughs> against. But I honestly believe that when times like this happen, most of us are looking around thinking, what can I do to help my neighbors? What do I know that they don't know that I can help them with? What do they need that I have to give them? And if we all would just think about how we can share our knowledge, skills, abilities, and stuff, we're not going to be in the kind of crisis that the, these pessimistic movies uh, show us. Now, I like to watch them sometimes. I like to think about what could happen, uh, but I honestly believe we're going to be more caring and more deliberate in our attempts to help each other. So let me show you this chicken tractor. And how at least at this point in time, don't tell me you don't have time. So let's take a look. Now, as you can see, I lost the use of my left arm over a year ago, and I was able to build this with one arm over the winter, and I've been able to move it myself every couple of days. My chickens always have fresh grass. We have plenty of sunshine and bugs, grass to eat, so they produce the very best eggs that are possible. And they're downright entertaining while giving you the very best quality eggs available anywhere in the world. Not only do they not destroy the grass, but they actually make it better. If you look back where the uh, tractor has already been, you'll see that the grass is greener than the grass around it. They provide nutrition for the soil. This setup keeps them protected from predators like this hawk. And I would be willing to try to help you to prepare for creating your own food in a safe way at home.